Well, hi. Welcome back to Painting with Yovette. I'm glad you could be here today. I'm really excited because we're going to do part two of that waterfall. Okay, so we are ready to start. We have to cover this canvas with a little medium. That's the first step. So I have here just a cloth. This is just a t-shirt, one of my husband's old t-shirts. And all I did was just fold it up, cut a square out of it, fold it up. I'm going to dip into a little medium, not a whole lot, but you can see what it is. And I'm going to start, well, let's start down here. I'm just going to cover my whole canvas with a little of this medium. The next thing I want to do is take your big brush and I want you to go into a little bit of phthalo blue which I have I have two palettes here because there's so many paint colors that I thought oh I really need that so okay oh you know what let's go into the yellow first I, I want to put just a little bit of yellow here I'm going to do something different with this one. Now this is Indian yellow. It's transparent. So that means you can see through it. I want to put a little bit down here in the water. A little bit of yellow. And what's going to happen with this is it'll turn green, a greenish shade, once I put the blue on. So a little more. Make sure you get the bristles all spread evenly. And let's go up here. And I just, oh, that's too much. Okay, if you see it's really dark like that, wipe that brush off. Get a lot of the paint out and then just go over it again. Just kind of spread it around. There, that's better. See how that is much, much lighter? Very pretty. A little bit out on the edges. Yeah, just scrub that in. I decided to do this one kind of a sun glow. I've been thinking about another one, doing one with more of a... Um, Oh, maybe um, purple, like a nightish color. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, I'm just tapping my brush out with it on a paper towel. Next, I want to go into a little bit of alizarin crimson. And right in the middle of my palette here. Now I'm using the two inch brush. And if you like, if you are more comfortable with the one inch brush, go ahead and use that. All I'm going to do is just, let's make sure that that's okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just putting a little bit of a pink hue in here. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Use this very sparingly because a lot goes, a, lo a little goes a long ways. And um, it's easier to start out slow than it is to get a great big gob in there and have to try and take it out. That's no fun at all. Okay, that's good. I like that. Okay, set that brush down. And if you like this yellow, now I thought that was pretty. I like that. But I want a brighter spot. So... I'm going to take out some of it. And you can do this just by blotting a paper towel or just rubbing out the center. And just so you get a really nice little glow in there. Because I'd like a light spot. You know, it kind of is like it goes deep down inside. There. A little bit of the Prussian, or excuse me, the uh, Thalo Blue. Thalo Blue is also a transparent color, and it's also strong. So again, you want it as light as possible. And when you load, you might even want to grab a paper towel 
and just wipe to make sure you haven't got it too strong on there. And then go up to your corners. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to that's going to turn out good. That'll be perfect. A little more of the blue. This corner. And just sort of blend that, just keep blending a little more. <laughs> okay, blend that in. A little bit into the pink. See already that's getting very pretty. I can go up into this yellow up a teeny bit here. Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay, some more blue. Now again, this is phthalo blue. Okay, now down into the water. Let's first go back here. And I want to load a little bit again. And go down to the bottom. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I really love this one. I've been so excited to show you guys this one for so long. But my, my life is just very hectic right now, and I'm just really having a hard time finding the time to do the painting that I should do. Now where this yellow is, just go over with the blue and see what happens. It kind of turns a greenish color. And that's what I wanted to accomplish. And even you can take some of a little bit of um, Van Dyke Brown and just hit the bottom here and just sort of make it like a, bra a brownish color, kind of like a dirt color. That's cool, that works good. Okay, I want to tap out. And next, I want to go into just a tiny bit of Prussian blue. And again, tap on a paper towel. And just go into these corners here. We're just ever so slightly darkening them. stop right here and it'd be beautiful. Just put a little falls in there and there you go. <laughs> uh, what I want to do now is pick up my knife and I want to make a little bit of a cliff, like a little cliff on each side. And so to do that, let's take some dark brown, some light brown, just sort of mix those two together. Take a little slice, a little roll, and just pick a spot. I'm just going to pick a spot right here. And I know you're not going to be able to see this. This is on black. It does not show. But you just have to Trust me, it's, it's going to be okay. And when you when you start working on your black, you're going to find that it's kind of hard to see also. Take a little black, a little brown, a little dark brown, and a little bit of white. That was a little more than a little bit, but that's okay. We'll use it. <laughs> and just pull a little more white. There, that's what I want. See that marbling? Ooh, that is so pretty. So, just take a little roll, and what we're going to do is just very lightly just highlight part of this rock here. 
this is just like a feather. I am touching so light. Let me light, wipe my knife off here. One of the secrets of doing this highlighting like this is that you don't want to put your finger here because that is what makes it bad. <laughs> Just if you if you put your knife down on your palette and you pick it up just like that, that's exact. Oh, you probably couldn't see that. Yeah, you could. Uh, you pick it up just like that, and it's just a very light touch, and just pull that cliff down. Good. Okay. Pick up a fan brush, and we're going to do a little bit of water. So I want to bring this out some more. I want you to dip into your oil because we need just a little bit on the brush. Make sure it's wiped off pretty good. Now go into some white. And what's this what that is going to do is just thin out the paint. And I want let's do a little uh, let's do a little thalo blue. Just a very little bit. There. Just sort of a light, light, light blue. Load the fan brush both sides really nicely. And let's just pick a spot. Now here's the base. Here's where my little creek kind of goes back in here. So let's just go right here. I'm just going to put my brush in and drag. And as I come down, lift. I want it to be darker on the bottom. See, I've got picked up a lot of brown there. Be sure and wipe that off before you go into white again. Otherwise, your water is going to be totally brown. Dip into the medium, go into your white again, a little bit of, oops, wrong one, a little bit of blue. You can feel it when, when, it's, when it's the right consistency, it's slipper, it feels slippery to you. There's no drag on it. Okay, let's go in here again. There. And I'm going to keep that. I like that. Be sure and wipe off the brown off the tips. Let's back to the knife again. And I want to go, I want to make my cliff on this side. So let's see, we probably have enough brown here because it doesn't take all that much. So I want to go in here. And this rock is going to come up a little bit, or I should say this cliff, and just drag, just pull. You don't need to cover this, not heavy. This is very, very, very light. Okay, now we want to go into some highlight color. And let's go, I want to have a little bit here. This is like the edge of a cliff. This will just, this will just disappear into the background because we'll have some leaves and stuff over this, or some trees, bushes, whatnot. Okay, wipe the knife off. Back into your highlight color. And very, very lightly touch and just drag a little. See, you don't want this all over, just a little bit here and there. Maybe there's a maybe there's a bigger cliff right here, a bigger stone in the cliff. Now, yeah, that'll work good. I don't like maybe to have one over here too.
My next step is to start doing some greenery, some trees. Now, this is where you guys will have a lot of, have a lot of fun. Um, now, I've already been painting, and so I, my brush is already dirty, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it anyway. Uh, what I want to do is take, oh, this is my large knife. I want the small one. Okay, I want to make a dark color, so I can just mix right in this pile here. So let's take a big bunch of black, a big bunch of blue, some alizarin crimson, a lot of green, and uh, maybe just a, just a little bit of brown. I don't want too much, but just a little bit of each brown. Okay, mix those colors up, and that'll make a nice deep green. Very pretty deep green. Okay, with my dirty brush, <laughs> and hopefully you'll have a clean one, but um, just go into this pile of paint here, and I'm going to load both sides of this brush, both sides, really pretty heavy. And I'm going to, let's see, we'll have trees heavier on this side. So let's start in the corner here and just make it dark. We want it really dark in the corner. I actually want a little more brown than that because that's pretty green. So let's just take a little bit more of the browns. Okay, that's better. Oh yeah, that's nice. I better bring this down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, load the brush. I'm just giving a sort of a tapping motion. And I want to leave some spaces. I don't want a solid color. See how I left it open a little bit here? Maybe here I'll just leave it up open a whole bunch. And I'm just tapping this time. And I'm just using actually this corner of the brush, just going in, tap, tap, tap. And go right into this little area here where I made this little ledge. And actually come right down here and just keep tapping, just tap, tap, tap. Before I get too far, I want to go back into this color here, this white with the fan brush. I forgot to do my little taps down here. Now this is just mist. And I'm just using again the corner of the fan brush and actually I am going to take off a lot of that paint now. I'm just wiping it, just kind of wiping it off. The reason is because now I want to diffuse it and kind of make it more like foamy, white, whitish. See how nice that works? Just using my fan brush. Down, it goes right down to where this would start. There, and be sure and wipe off that brown if you got any on your brush. Set that brush aside again. And actually, you know, something that I would, I'm going to try this. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm wiping it off really good now. I just want to go up a little bit. Okay, the next step is, let's keep it going with our green here. And here we're just filling in some color. It doesn't matter what it is, just dark. It needs to be dark. 
but preferably on the greenish or bluish side. Okay, load again. This particular painting would make the most wonderful gift for somebody. Uh, let's go right, let's go start right down here. And I'm just again tapping, slow motion, tap, 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 tap. Okay, reload again. I would like to have some of the green over the water. And probably maybe a little green right here. See, there's like, like a ledge there, and maybe there was some greenery, greenery growing on top of that. And let's just keep on, continue on going down here. This might be a bush here. I don't know. We'll see what happens when we get to it. <laughs> you never know with painting. You know, you can just... You can change your mind right in the middle of the something. You can do different colors. You, you can just do so much. You don't have to do what I do. Oh, I see this up here. I didn't do this. Let's do that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I like that. And <clears throat> if you want, you can just put a little bit of that green near the top and just ever so slightly here and there just because it looks pretty and I didn't do very much just a little bit you set that brush aside now we're going to go to a different color Let's pick up our second. Now, I, I'm using multiple brushes uh, with, um, I'm using uh, multiple brushes because of the colors that I'm using. I have that very light yellow, and then I'm going to be doing this tree color, which is kind of this greenish color, and uh, then I have the dark color. So that's why I have so many brushes. So, whew, it takes a lot of brushes to do this. Now, this is going to be a highlight color. And so what I want to do again is dip into my medium. Make sure you don't have too much. And I'm going to start in, uh, let's, let's do like yellow ochre. And I want this paint thin because this is going to be going over a thick paint. And I also want white in here because that's way too dark. So we'll just lighten that up a bunch. Yeah, that's good. That's much better. Okay, bring your brush through. If you just take and twist it a little bit, if you're working on this side, you would twist it this way because then this loads this side of the brush. And so what happens is when you come down, it'll make nice little highlights. And then just lightly, lightly let it get darker, darker, darker as you go towards the back. Again, pull, twist, Maybe there's a little bit here. Uh, I want to change the color. Let's go into Indian Yellow. Twist. I don't really see a lot of difference in these colors, but there is a little bit. But these are kind of in the background, so they're not going to show up a whole lot. And 
And next I want to go into real light yellow and twist because this is going to be more highlighted. And with these little trees, you know, you just have to pick out little places that you want for brighter. And when you do it, think of little clusters, little uh, bunches that group together. And be sure and leave dark spaces in between. That is very, very important. Okay, I love that. Okay, now I want to go into this yellow still. Twist my brush the other way, because now I'm working on this side. So I'm twisting my brush the other way. That loads this corner. And we can just go in here. See, these are, this right in here would be your lightest area. I would like to, I think, highlight that one little spot over here further. Yeah, I want that later. Okay, good. Uh, let's see, let's say we did this one. And just remember as you go back, you just, you're still touching, but you're touching lighter and going backwards. Now we're getting into the darker colors again, so let's go back to that yellow ochre. Let's go into here, maybe a little here, here, Maybe this is just a big old tree. Who knows? <clears throat> Who knows what this is? Anyway, keep it dark on the edges. And I'm going to wipe this brush off a little bit because I want to make this lighter color, the lighter yellow, right here, where it's on the water, on the waterfall. There. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Just light little touches. Keep on coming down. Maybe let's go into a little gold. Okay, I'm going to wipe this brush again a little bit and get a new paper towel. Okay, now let's go into a little bit of the gold or yellow ochre. Let's back over to the other side here. This is, this is a little bit darker shade of gold, so that works good because this would be more shadowy. And now I want to change colors again. Go into yellow. Okay. 
I really hope you guys are going to be doing this. Let's start highlighting right about here. This is a grassy area. Lighter, lighter, lighter as I go back. Very, very light. Light, 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 light. I want to go to the other side. Now this time I'm not pushing this way or this way. I'm just dragging, dragging yellow. Because all I'm doing is touching the top. Uh, my brightest area would probably be right in here. And it gets lighter as it goes back. You have to kind of keep that brush cleaned when you're changing colors here. Not that it makes a lot of difference because you really can hardly see it, but well, still you should do that. Light, 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 light. Oops, I'm, I'm into the Indian, sorry. <laughs> it's easy to forget where you're at. Light again, very, very light. Oh, this is looking so good. I'm really liking it. Okay, then last I want to probably go into ochre again. Because now I'm in the foreground and the outer edges. Now don't forget to leave these little dark spaces. The lighter you touch, the softer it'll be, and the darker. Oh, I think that looks really good. Let's do this other side. This is so pretty. And we have a lot of nice yellows on our brush. Let's go into red. Pull it down. Turn. Well, where shall we do it? Let's do it right. Let's do one right here. You guys like a little touch of fall? Isn't that gorgeous? How about right here? You don't want to overdo it, but you want to get enough that it really shows. like one right here, just sort of in the center. And maybe just a hint of red along here, just to kind of tie it in. And I'm just barely, barely tapping, just enough to give just a little bit of hint of color. And, you know what, we could even do that in the upper part of the tree, just in a couple of places. There. I don't want to do any more than that. That's plenty, and it looks very pretty. Now the fun part. You guys have been waiting for the falls in the, in the water part. 
here it comes <laughs> okay go back to your fan brush make sure that it has no brown on it it's nice and clean dip into your thinner just wipe it off so you don't have too much go into white a touch of phthalo blue okay and way back here in the back let's just start my brush depends on how the curve of your brush goes oh I forgot something I wanted to do something else let's do this I definitely want a little bit of cliff here let's bring this in now with the knife you know just like making mountains I'm just pulling some brown in here dark brown this is sort of like the edge I want to go on the other side down here There, and that needs a little more highlighting on the right side here. So we'll just barely, barely, barely touch. Just let that paint just slide right off. It just sort of highlights a little bit. You can put it up into the grass, that's fine. Makes it look very pretty. I wanted to come down a little bit further on the water here. See, it's easy to pick up that brown, so you have to be very careful. Okay, now I want to stop right here. I want to take the filbert brush, uh, dip into a little medium, not very much, just enough just to get it a little moist go into dark brown or you can have both shades of brown either just so it's a dark color you could even go into a little black and then let's go into some white we haven't used this white yet so we'll use this so I have dark light okay so let's get more dark <laughs> Okay, this is just little stones, pebbles that we had put in here before. I want to have one here. Let's go into some dark, a little more white. Definitely want one here. Maybe here as a three or four. Uh, let's see, we've got some, we want a few along here, maybe there's some in the grass. Mm. Got too many colors, <laughs> got too many colors going here. I boo-booed. I should, that should have been white. Okay, back into the dark. And the white. Okay, now I got it right. <laughs> okay. And just put little stones and pebbles just wherever you think they might live. Yeah, that's probably good. I'm not going to do any more. That one's a little too bright. Set that brush aside and go back to your fan brush. Some white. And now, I'm going to have to stand to do this because I can't see. It's so bright. There, and I'm just barely touching the tips. 
Okay, now where these rocks are, let's do a little waterfall. There. And a little bit of foamy. Okay, back into the white and a little bit of blue. And just start. I need more. This is not quite thin enough. It has to be very slippery, smooth. Okay, back in here. Now, is that not cool? I love it. And it looks just like water running over. I want to wipe this brush off really good. Just in a few places, I'm just smoothing it out. Especially on the edges here, because again, I don't want those too bright. So that'll bring some of the dark back in. There. Isn't that cool? Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.